Osage County is the largest county in the state, and the Osage Nation claims their reservation has the same boundaries as the entire county, and that is what is at issue in the tribe's rehearing request by the 10th U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals. Now we believe that if we appeal it to the full 10th Circuit, um, we might be able to get a better hearing on that issue because we believe precedent matters, and I think the 10th Circuit Court has a reputation and has a history of relying on precedent. In my opinion, the 10th Circuit decision could have looked at additional factors, could have addressed some of the factors it found um, under principles that generally apply to Indian law. And the main factor at issue for the Osage Nation is the question of whether or not tribal members living and working in Indian country should pay state income taxes. Judith Royster is a law professor and co-director of Native American law at the University of Tulsa. She says the law clearly states that tribes and their members within their Indian country are exempt from state taxation unless Congress provides otherwise. So that the taxation um, of individuals in Indian country is something that the state of Oklahoma may not do unless Congress says they can and Congress has never said that. But a federal appeals court rejected the Osage Nation's claim that its reservation still exists, saying that the Osage Reservation has been disestablished by Congress. What this decision said is that the Osage Reservation uh, no longer exists. And that impacts a number of areas, including criminal jurisdiction and taxation. Royster does not say how she thinks the appeals court will rule if there is a rehearing, but she says the full panel of judges may look at all of the factors involved. The federal government, and in particular the executive branch of the federal government, has recognized the existence of an Osage reservation fairly consistently for a number of decades. It appears on all official maps. In the 2004 legislation, legislative history referred to the Osage Reservation. Those matters I, were not, in my opinion, given adequate weight in this decision. Royster says the law allows the Osage Nation to petition only once for this rehearing by the entire Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals, and if it's denied again, they can ask the Supreme Court to take the case. For the Oklahoma News Report, I'm Angela Rosecrans.